this was the only reason I was supposed to be going, making this trip to Market Street this morning, this evening. Hi guys, that one cup of coffee turned into a video share for you today. So I woke up, and I say this evening because I work overnight. I get up at like 12, 12 noon. I woke up, had no creamer to make a cup of coffee. So my intention was to run to Market Street to get only coffee creamer. And this is what only coffee creamer turned into. So I'll begin sharing this with you shortly. So firstly, I had the pizza sitting off to the side because it couldn't go into the bag. But I have here a veggie um, pizza. And I love their veggie pizza so it just so happened there was one on the shelf so it must have been sitting there for me and I'll be putting this in the oven in a little while to have before work this is what I initially went for and I wanted the um the amaretto coffee creamer that they, they were completely out of that one so they had this Cinnabon, so I just picked that one up instead. I have Kerrygold butter here. I have a bag of bird's eye sweet corn and sweet peas. Fish tails. I'll try these. Never tried this brand before, but I'll give these a try. And I have a Tillamook um, extra sharp white cheddar, and it's the sliced, the pre sliced cheese log. And I also have one like that in Pepper Jack pre sliced. Also, by Tillamook, this is going to be new to me. This one is a, um, a English style sweet cheddar cheese. So I wanted to try that to see what the sweet cheddar cheese is like. I have the unique Belgique, um, Belgian waffles. Four of those. I have. Okay, this one is a, a Sky Queen, and this one says a creamy caramel cheese. Never tried this one either, so give that a try. And lastly, in this bag, to go with that pizza, some buffalo style cauliflower wings. So this is a look at everything that was just in that bag. Okay, so in bag number two, have a chameleon cold brew and this one is just the black coffee no flavors or anything in it I have a Saint de Fleur wild berry jam some bra nutritional yeast by Bragg A tin of matcha. And I have a 
sweet and spicy ginger noodle sauce. Never tried this, so this will be new. To me. This one is a um, Korean barbecue sauce. And a roasted mango chipotle sauce. So that's everything from bag number two. And lastly, in bag number three, I have um, the GFB oatmeal. These are oatmeal bowls, and this one is a maple raisin. And I have another one in this, the fruit and nuts. So I have two like this one. Two like that. And to really make these into power bowls, because I pack stuff like this and just and put it in my lunch bag for when I need an extra boost. I have um, a nut butter here, and this is the one with the um, egg white peanuts dates, and it is the honey cinnamon flavor. I also have one in. <clears throat> And this one have almond in it, and it's the vanilla almond butter. And this one is also an almond, and it's almond maple butter. So I have those to add in addition with to put as a topper on those oatmeal bowls. I have the laughing cow to go. And this one is the original flavor with cracker sticks in it. And and I have the cheddar, the um white cheddar flavor, and this one has pretzel sticks in it. Also, I have here a honey ghee. And a pack of anise vocals. This is a Spanish orange. It's like a, um, a Mediterranean crisp, like a thin, thin cracker. I got these because I want to try this, my sweet cheddars with this. So since it was a sweet flavor, I thought it would go good with that. And for my favorite cheese, one of my favorite flavors here, and it's the rosemary and thyme. So that's a look at everything from bag number three. And this is this has been my Market Street haul for today. Wishing you all a, a good day and until next time, thanks for watching.